Hey guys, Jake and Devin with JD Cigars here. Today we're kind of doing a double review here. I'm smoking the Ned, uh, the Ned, the <laughs> Nub Connecticut in a uh, Robusto. And I'm smoking the Nub Connecticut in a Torpedo. Right off the bat, this Nub has a very uh, cedary smell that I'm getting off it, which is very nice. Mine has a very cedary smell also. But I want to notice the construction on this. It's not constructed very well at all. Like, the end of the torpedo here is actually falling apart. So is the end that you draw, or that you light. And in the middle there, there's also a crack. So, the the uh, construction on this isn't very good at all. Mine actually isn't that bad. On the, on the inside here, it's, it's very tightly packed. So, should be a firmer draw, I'm expecting. Yeah, mine's uh, pretty firm also, so let's get these cut up and do a pre-light draw. Mine is. Alright, so first thing I notice off this pre-light draw, lots of cedary flavors and lots of woodsy flavors, which is fantastic. However, I thought this draw was going to be a lot a lot of resistance regarding how tight tightly packed the tobacco is but it's it's not tight at all it's actually pretty loose yeah same with mine actually it doesn't look too tight at the end but you can feel in the middle it's very 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 firm and then when I cut it off I automatically just assumed that it was yeah. gonna be a tight draw but it's not at all actually so uh, I'm pretty excited for my first nub let's get this uh, lit up here and sounds good The first initial draws on this are actually a uh, cedar I get with mine, and also a little hints of other woodsiness in there. Yeah, um, right off the bat, I have smoked a few of these Nub, Connecticut, uh, Nub Connecticut's before, but that's been a while ago. These two have actually been sitting in my humidor for probably a month and a half to two months more, and I've noticed right off the bat, they're a lot more... Uh, pronounced in their flavors the other ones I had were more milder so that could be just from aging <coughs> but right off the bat enjoying this nub a lot yeah it's for my first nub you know this is a great cigar if it stays like this this will probably uh, end up in my humidor and I'll keep stocked up on these ones mm -hmm. alright guys we're probably gonna do a short review there's no point coming in on the first second third so we'll just uh, smoke it down to the band and then we'll come back to you sounds good Hey guys, Jake and Devin back with you on our, well, my Nub Connecticut uh, Torpedo. And I have the Robusto. So, I actually had some, uh, a little bit uh, more to go in on the flavor here. Um, I actually got a little bit of a leathery taste on mine. With uh, some grassy notes also. So I had a little bit, or it was strong cedar with some leather and grassy notes in there. Yeah, mine definitely got uh, more leathery and uh, maybe even added a little spice of some sort, maybe a peppery note as time went on as I smoked it. So, do I get right into the ratings? For sure. All right, let's start with uh, appearance and first impressions. So, first impressions of mine, it was nicely wrapped until I looked closely to it and everything was uh didn't look so nice up close but uh for for appearance i'm gonna give it a five because of all the cracks and stuff in it but for first impressions i'll give it an eight yeah first impressions appearance i give mine a solid eight as well mine was wrapped nicely there wasn't really any cracks or anything like that it has a nice band on it something simple I like that gold with the light wrapper. It's a good looking cigar. Alright. Would you give your ratings for Ash and Bourbon? <laughs> ash, I did have... I kept the ash for about an inch. Um, the ash wasn't perfect. Half, half of it looked decent. The other half was just 
falling off and not tight at all. So not a very high rating for Ash. Probably five or six. Burn line, it's been uh, the same, just kind of so-so throughout the entire cigar. So another five or six. Burn line, I was impressed with until it hit this crack there. But uh, for burn line, I'm actually going to give it an eight. And then for ash, I could not keep an ash on this. There was, it fell off within like half an inch, and then the rest of it, it just kept falling off. So I'll probably give that a four. All right, so let's move in more on the strength and flavor. Strength, I, I definitely put mine as a nice medium cigar, medium strength. Um, flavors of mine, flavors of mine have been pretty consistent throughout. Not too much change. And the flavors I have been getting are pretty good. So I, I give my flavor a solid solid 8. The strength of this is definitely a nice medium to mild. I really like this cigar. It's What time is it here? It's almost 6 o'clock. still sunny out. So I really enjoyed it. And for flavors. <clears throat> as soon as it got... I got into smoking this. It... I didn't think it would have that leather and grassy notes. I just tasted, with the pre-light dry, I just tasted that, uh, a really strong cedar. So I didn't, I thought it would stick with that straight cedar. Mm -hmm. So I was really impressed with that, uh, the changing of this cigar actually. So with that, I'll give it probably an eight. The value of this nub. I got both of these online at the cigar auctions, I believe 250 to $3 each which is half price considering they are normally around six to seven dollars in Canada yeah so that six to seven dollar price I would still buy these again even for how small they are there's still at least 45 minutes of burn time in these mm -hmm. um, at that two to th or 250 to three dollar I would rate this at 10 and I would probably buy these whenever I'm running low. I don't think I'd buy like bundles of these, but five singles here and there, I would. For value of this cigar, for the price range of the five to seven dollars, I would buy a few singles here and there. For the two to three dollar price range, this is an awesome cigar. I, I loved it. I'm going to keep this stocked up in my humidor, smoke these on the constant, they're awesome. So value, I'm going to rate this as an 8 at the 2 to $3 price range. Okay, so final rating, when we buy the cigar again, final rating, I'm going to give a nice 75%. Would I buy the cigar again? Yes, I would, but not in large quantities. A few singles here and there. Overall rating, would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy this again. Just as Jake said, I would buy a few singles here and there. I'll definitely keep them stocked in my humidor, but I won't be smoking them on a constant like I would, for example, my back rats. I, I love those. Um, overall rating, I'm going to give this a 7 or a 70%. Good. So definitely a solid cigar, but not quite one of our favorites. So the only thing that I'd like to see nub correct is the cracking maybe I, I don't think it's our humidors honestly because our humidors we don't really keep them open a lot and we have good ones and we have good humidors and we always keep it at around that 70 percent humidity so i don't think it's that so i think i'd like to see them clean up the construction of this the burn line and i'd like to see a nicer ash on this if they could do that. Yeah, nicer ash is another good point. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this has been our review of the Nub Connecticut Torpedo and the Nub Connecticut Robusto. Please like and subscribe if you like our videos here. Definitely hit up our Instagram. Check that out. We've uh, been updating daily. So uh, have a great night, guys.